Here's everything you need to know about exosome versus PRP therapy in simple terms and under three minutes from a board certified surgeon and aesthetic physician. PRP stands for platelet rich plasma. During a PRP procedure, your own blood is drawn. It is then spun in a centrifuge to isolate the platelets from other components of blood, such as red blood cells and white blood cells. The platelet rich plasma is then injected into the affected tissues and triggers your body's inflammatory response, which then promotes regeneration and healing of tissues. An average PRP treatment uses a minimum of six vials of your blood and sometimes even more. Exosomes, on the other hand, are tiny little membrane-bound molecules that can be found within stem cells, bone marrow cells, fat cells, blood, and other tissues. Think of exosomes as messengers that carry cargo to your tissue's cells. Exosomes can signal your own body's DNA to repair or regenerate damaged or new cells. So both exosomes and PRP can work well for tissue healing and regeneration, but PRP elicits your body's inflammatory response to do that and can come with the unwanted effects of inflammation whereas exosomes use a completely anti-inflammatory approach, signaling your body's DNA to repair and regenerate itself. PRP also involves drawing multiple vials of your own blood for each treatment. Now, if you're 60 years old and you're drawing your own blood and isolating those platelets, well, those platelets aren't gonna be as fresh as someone who's younger and possibly healthier. Exosomes don't require drawing your own blood. They can be harvested from many different sources. The exosomes that we use are harvested from young girls in their 20s who undergo liposuction. The exosomes are then isolated from the fat that is liposuction. And because these women are young and healthy, you know you're getting these cells at their strongest. So that's it in a nutshell. Make sure you save this post and any questions, just drop them in the comments.